Hello, hello. It's time to do the Warlock achievement. Cannot run, cannot hide. Play six primes as Warlock goes up to 18. So for this, of course, the Envoy Rust Wicks is the thing that you need. Shuffle three random prime legendary minions into your deck. And in order to make better progress on this, I want to cast this guy as much as possible. So I only have one philosophy. If you have two, you should probably use two. And then um, I also have Supreme Archaeology as the draw quest, because I really just want to draw, draw, draw. So I have a bit of a lackey package in here. I have a bit of a soul, soul shard package in here. Uh, I did avoid putting any demons that were less cost than Rustwicks into the deck, so I don't accidentally philosophy myself out of uh, additional stuff. And then I have a couple of board clears, a couple of just big guys to jam, since I'm going to have the soul shards uh, adjusting my life for me. Um, and these demons, I have them for... Like, these go really well with the plot twists. I'm really just trying to complete the quest as, as quickly as possible so I can just keep drawing and get to as many primes as possible within a single game. So uh, let's go see how it works. Nemzi versus Jaina. You ask for it. Let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do the plot twist a little bit later. Can't really corrupt him easily in the very beginning. Uh, I mean, that draws a card, so I guess we'll keep that around. I did say that I avoided putting lower cost demons in my deck, but I can really jam this guy on the board as soon as I see him, so I'm not gonna accidentally uh, fell... I'm not gonna accidentally copy him. Time runs out on me. What to do? What to do? And one nice thing about the philosophy interaction here is that I don't really care about giving it plus one, plus one or not. The the philosophy does not have to be um, in the outcast position for me, me to make use of it. Time runs out on me. What to do? What to do? I hope this guy isn't gonna rope on me every turn. Kind of seems like he might be one of those. Maybe he is. Okay, I think I do want to draw here, and I do want to cast one of these. And I think I'm going to play this first, because I would, in fact, like the chance to draw one of the shards. Um, it makes the draw free, essentially. And it's an extra draw for the quest if I hit it. Now I have to be careful because once I draw again, if I tap, I'll have 10 cards in hand and then I'll have to use something. I do have something to use, so uh, it's okay. I just need to be careful because I'm approaching hand size. I wonder. I will crush your delusions of grandeur. So let's uh, see if we can get a lackey to deal with that. Sure. And 
Go throw one. Now I do definitely want to make sure I cast this before I philosophy. Time runs out on me. Please, please, please don't do this when you play games. Um, I'll edit out the waiting for you, but this is just annoying and it doesn't really accomplish anything. Just want to make sure I wasn't hiding any other uh, low cost demons. Nice. Now, since I don't have any other philosophies in my deck, I may as well just play these out. And that's worth a coin. Ready for a show. Uh, since I want to do the thing more than I want to kill him, let's trade in here. Put the other one out there. Draw a card. Nice. I know a soul when I smell it. Ready for a show. I think I'll take Rush in this case. The nose, no. I get the plot twist after I complete the quest. You fight me, you get burned! Turn it up! Behold. 
in my face. Ah, uh, damn, before I could get a second one in. But I had five more in there. I had the hero power online. Um, I had a good line on being able to cast more. I think I like the way this is going to work. And the month just happened, so back down to bronze 10. So this is a little bit slow. I only got one in, but the only reason I only got one in is because he conceded before I could get more. So that's a little unfortunate, but I think this will work out. All right. Have a good one.